The volcanic ash cloud is also impacting local travelers, including a group of Barrington students trying to get to France on their class trip. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North has more local coverage now. Madison Rochford spends a few minutes on Sunday helping at her family's barbershop salon, but she should have been spending the next week in France. Everyone is like really sad and wishes they were going because it was like a big deal because it was planned a year ago. Madison and close to 12 other Barrington High School French students were going to be on a whirlwind tour of the country, including several days in Paris and in Nice. But thousands and thousands of flights overseas have been canceled, all due to a huge ash cloud from this Icelandic volcano. I thought it was like kind of like a fake thing and that it wouldn't really affect anything. And then the flight was canceled. And then it was back on and then it was canceled again. Air Traffic Services says the volcanic ash cloud from Iceland has been moving and changing shape. On Sunday, some airlines were conducting test flights to make sure the airspace was safe to resume flights in some areas. Whoever thinks the volcano in Iceland is going to affect anything, and it's a lot of just flight changes. So now Madison and the other members of the French class will have their school vacation at home. And while they will get their money back, they won't be making memories like they had hoped. I was looking forward to going to the museums and going to the Eiffel Tower. And just to give you an idea of just how many flights have been slashed this weekend, well, European air traffic officials say that on Saturday only 5,000 flights took place. That's down from the norm of 22,000. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.